It didn't take long for Coach Martin's likeness to adorn a wall inside the Ray Mears room at Thompson Bowling Arena. Shortly thereafter, the coach himself made his presence felt, addressing the crowd for the first time as Tennessee head basketball coach. It's an honor being a part of a, such a great academic and athletic university with such great tradition. As far as what took place with Coach Pearl, I, mean, I had a great deal of respect for Coach Pearl. He recruited me, so I knew him. But as far as continuing the success he started, that's our main goal, to continue developing these guys. 39 years of age, Coach Martin hails from the rough streets of East St. Louis, Illinois. If that wasn't enough, he's a cancer survivor. And those closest to him say that journey through adversity is what defines him as a man. So quite an ordeal. He's such a fighter. And he, I, ha, I truly believe that his, the reason for his survival is just his will to fight. Everyone I spoke with at UT today seemed to be impressed with the new coach, including the longtime voice of the Vols, John Ward. Efficient. Efficient use of the language. He didn't go on and on and on. He said what he said, and he said it. Martin's hiring brings to an end a whirlwind couple of weeks, which culminated with the firing of a guy who recruited him out of high school and who he succeeds at UT, Bruce Pearl. Tennessee fans were certainly taken aback by the events leading up to Coach Pearl's release. Can you take us through the thought process leading up to last Monday? You know, um, obviously we alluded to it at the time, but it was more accumulation of events that led us to the final decision and very difficult decision because we very much appreciate what Coach Pearl did for our program in the last six years. And these kinds of decisions decisions are, are hard on everybody involved, but, but uh, just the, the, the accumulation of events led to the ultimate uh, decision. Well, Rick, as you talked about, there's a lot of reaction to this hire of Conzo Martin. How about the former players? And a couple of guys are in studio. They've been with us on the locker room all year long. Jordan Howe, Ryan Childress are here. First off, Jordan, your initial reaction to Conzo Martin, a name that kind of came out of left field, really. I was shocked at first, and then I just started calling people, getting on the phone. The more I hear, the more I like about this guy. Okay. When I heard he's a cancer survivor, got a hold of Chris Lofton. What's your thoughts? And yeah. When I think about Chris Lofton living with him for a year, that guy went through everything, and he's on top. And I think... Conzo has the same stuff that Chris Lofton had, and I'm excited to see what he can do at Tennessee. Chili, when you did your research, what did you figure out about him? He found out that a guy comes from a bad background, a tough background. Okay. He comes from a you know winning tradition at Purdue, and I like the aspect that he's been in the NBA. He's come from a yeah. tough background, yeah. and um, he's also done really well at Missouri State really quick. He's going to need to be able to overcome a lot to take over this program, would you not say? Because I'm hearing both of you guys as former players say he's overcome a lot. Is that a big part of this job? I think it is. He's going to have a lot to deal with at first. I think the first obstacle he has to have, he has to get the fan base on, on board because it's a it's a, <laughs> yeah. it's a a broken fan base right now, and I think he can do that. I thought he did a good job at the press conference. He's a no-nonsense guy. Yeah. He's not going to give you sound bites. It's a total different – uh, direction that we're going with, but I think the team is buying into what he's doing. All right. Well, Rick, so far, the former players seem to like what they've heard of this new guy.